Hey guys, since I reviewed Halloween, the original Halloween, I'm going to be reviewing Halloween 2018. This is a direct sequel to the original film, but I believe it's the 10th installment of the series. Uh, maybe 11th, I don't know. This series is really messed up and there's so many of these movies. But... I do enjoy this movie. Um, I remember watching this movie when it, the day it came out on Blu-ray, and I actually didn't know that they were making another Halloween movie. And I remember I bought it, I brought it home, I watched it, and I thought it was awesome. A lot of people seemed to, like, didn't like it at first because there was a lot of things that didn't make sense, but then when Halloween Kills came out, that answered a lot more of their questions, and it brought it way up on their rankings and on their positive reviews, but I've always just enjoyed this movie for what it was, so let's get into it, and do not judge my shirt, I just got done watching Chucky Season 2. Do, please don't judge me for that. Starting with my positives, the opening to this movie I think was really cool, where the where the the guy who studies Michael, he pulls out the mask and shows it to him, and he's like, say something, and says it, says it, and then everybody else around Michael in, in the mental institute, they go bananas and just go crazy, and he, start, and he keeps saying, say something, and then it pops up Halloween, and then it brings back that aw awesome pumpkin from the first movie. That is a great way to open this movie. And Michael Myers, I think he is... He isn't the scariest. I think Tyler Mains Michael is still the scariest, but I think this is the second scariest Michael because see, this guy is brutal. James Jude Courtney, he is easily my favorite Michael Myers actor. Yes, I do prefer him over Nick Castle. Come after me. Please don't. I don't want to get hurt. I think J James Jude Courtney as Michael Myers is awesome, and, I, and I'm really excited to see him in Halloween Ends, and I really hope Halloween Ends doesn't ruin him for me. And the bathroom scene, where Michael j gets his jumpsuit, he goes into the bathroom where the girl is, and he's just, like, shaking the door, trying to get her, trying to get her, and then the one guy comes in, he just bashes his damn head in on the, on the bathroom door and on the wall, then he dies, and then, and then he kills the girl, and when Michael gets his mask, he opens the trunk, puts on his mask, and looks at Haddonfield, he's like, I'm home, bitches, that, those two scenes were just awesome, and they will probably be in, like, if I ever did, like, a top 10 favorite Halloween scenes, this would, those two scenes would easily be up in there, and I did, like, the references to the, or the, to the other Halloween movies, like, with some of the characters, and, like, some of the things that they did, like, the name of the characters, the way some people died, I thought that was really cool, and, like, the continuous shot was awesome, I think that's easily the best part about this movie, and I just like that, and the, like I said, the mask was awesome in this movie. I think that's my favorite Michael Myers mask. I like how beat up it is. A lot of people, for some reason, they didn't they didn't like Rob Zombie's Halloween mask. But then when they did this movie, a lot of people loved it. Maybe because they just didn't like Rob Zombie's Halloween. But I've always liked that type of mask where it's just all beat up. And they went into great detail with it. I think it's awesome. And the motion center scene in this movie where the lights just come on and go off. And when Michael slowly goes after that, like, one guy, I forget his name, um, Casper, Chapter, I can't remember, <laughs> let's say Casper, his name is Casper, the big, the big fat guy who tries to get with Allison, which Allison was also pretty cool in this movie, there's a scene where Michael sees the guy, and he thinks it's just Mr. Anderson, and then the lights go out, he j and the lights come back on, he disappears, and he look over, and Michael's, like, two feet away from him, the lights go out again. When they come back on, he cuts. He cuts Oliver. That's his name, Oliver. <laughs> uh, not Casper. Oliver. That's his name. And he cuts him. And then he chases after him. And he stabs him. And he's trying to climb the fence. And then his then that damn spike goes through his neck and is through his mouth and jaw. That was an awesome scene. That's like I said. That's easily one of the best scenes in this movie. And the gore was awesome like dr sartain get his head smashed in the two cops getting carved like jack-o-lanterns the gore in this movie was just awesome i'm a person that loves gore and just loves seeing gore on screen so the gore in this movie for me was awesome not as gory as halloween 2 or halloween kills but this movie is gnarly now to my mixed aspect Michael killing that kid. I don't. I don't think they mentioned his name. I I call him little Stevo because he looks like Stevo and kind of sounds like Stevo from Jackass. I don't understand. I mean, it show. I know his motive in Halloween four and five was just to kill a little kid, but to actually see him doing is tragic. But shows that he's not holding back. 
it's pretty messed up, and yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. Now onto my negatives. The biggest negative for me is Dr. Sartain. I do not like Dr. Sartain. Um, he's not a good replacement for Loomis. I don't like the part where he puts on the mask, and I don't like the twist when he stabs the cop. I don't like any of that. I don't think that was the best way to utilize that character. And then you find out the reason that they did that was just to get a reason for Michael and Lori to, like, fight again. And that's the best that they can come up with. Evil Loomis? I don't like that. Those are the, like, f f many things I don't like. Dr. Sartain with him wearing the mask and the twist, that's all one thing for me. And the thing where Michael and Lori, like, the reason that they're going to the fight and face each other again... That was just all I didn't like, but I did enjoy this movie. This is a movie I do recommend that you go out and buy it. I enjoyed this movie. This is this is not even better than the original. This is probably never ever going to be close to being better than the uh, excuse me better than the original. But this is easily my favorite Halloween sequel, and I really do enjoy it. But what do you guys think of Halloween 2018? Do you like this movie? Do you hate this movie? Do you love this movie? Do you think this is easily the best of the this is easily the best of the franchise since the original, or do you one of those people that think it's one of the worst in the series? Let me know in the comments, and we will talk about it. Like and share this video if you uh, so people can find out more about me. If you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the like and bell notification so you will get notified for my latest videos. But until my next video, take care.